Hey, 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 what up, Wheatfield? What up, y'all? Sweet, what it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome to you. If you're new, hey, welcome to you too. I gotta adjust this camera a bit so y'all can see a little bit more of the table, beloved. Um, a little bit of a hopefully not a whole sneak peek into your girl IT, but we just needed to do a little bit of adjusting. Um, uh, we just gave a message that was just kind of a little bit uh um deep you know some chopped ingredients that came together we and when i say oh, it was really breaking down this energy that i've been feeling and uh, people who are just in your energy and they feeling envious and um i thank you so much for everybody who stayed and watched the message to the end i feel like um the spirit is calling us to message again. Definitely calling us back to message again. We see unlimited and we see subconscious mind. I feel like somebody's potential is unlimited and you're making somebody a little bit jealous and envious. Just saying, I see green with envy, heart chakra energy. Lip gloss week. Yeah, I know what it is. Ooh, that might be a little pink, <laughs> but we like pink because I think pink um, brown is pretty and pink is a lighthearted energy. Yes. So I've been feeling my pink lately, but uh, y'all, we're going to have to light the candle and I'm going to turn this down just a little bit just in case it's a little bit loud, beloved. Candle, mm-mm, Palo Santo. Yes, beloved, clear the energy of this space. Because when I tell y'all I just got a download, I was like, oh, is that what's happening in the wheat field? I say, I say, I say, I say. So, Spirit told me that somebody got um, an ex that's in separation, because that card actually came out separation or getting divorced or something like that and their person that they are leaving watching you stalking you even stalking you clear all of these cards because some of them I feel like we may use again I definitely was feeling the Kipper decks you know the soul journey maybe I don't know Maybe mindful messages, but we definitely feel these romance angels, light seer, some tarot, you know, definitely, you know. And I'm not for sure what else we're going to get. We, we might end up with a black tarot deck. I'm definitely feeling this. I'm feeling this one. So let's get this. Let's get this. This one. Okay, see, all one, every time I say this one, I get a message. Somebody might be reaching out to you soon. Yeah, anything else over here? No, 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 anything over here? Yeah, and I feel like it's a mess. Something is messy, something messy, because we got a lot going on. We, it's a lot going on. It is a lot. When I say a lot, we, it's a lot, like between jealousy and envy and people gang stalking and sending you energy casts and spells and all kind of nastiness i mean like it's like what the hell is going on this one this this one is this this Ooh. see it's some nasty going on mm. anything else from over here no 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 Mm. See, I, yeah, I'm feeling that though. Cause see, that's I had got a kind of uh, mindset to jump into these two to kind of take a look at what somebody might be saying, you know? So we'll see what the energy is, like what the spirit allow us to move through. But 
Thank you so much for y'all being here. I know, like, it's kind of, like, all over the place. If you're still here, bless you, I say. Y'all know how your girl is. You know, this is live tea here. It's here's the week's roll show. You sure enough never know what you're going to get, beloved. It's a whole bunch of shop ingredients. We telling you, we feeling some energy. energy. And I, I'm so thankful to the Most High God for bringing the message through me, onto me. Let it be self-edifying. Let it be enlightening and fill us up in the spirit so we can continue to bear the yoke that's placed upon us. Allow us to flow on into the wheat field, yo. And you be filled too and edified. And then we meet in the middle. You overflow, we overflow and meet in the middle, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's get it. Let's get into this energy and see what it's really doing. Now you want to light the candle? Yeah, most high said we lighting the candle on this because we need to calm the waves down. We need to come to balance because somebody is real off balance. And I feel like they watching you with jealousy, envy, and malice. Like talking ish. It's, it's giving me uh, petty, petty vibes, beloved. I don't know if y'all remember, but see, these flames is hot. Like, you know what I mean? Somebody, somebody a little pissed off. We might need to see. Calm the waves now. Calm it down. Calm it down. Look, and a battle. Seven of Wands. Battle. Protection. Having to protect yourself from people. We definitely see the art of war. I'm feeling battle. Work fast and tightly. Once you have started a job or a project, put all your focus on it. Maybe somebody trying to pull your focus away. And we've been feeling that energy of somebody trying to pull your focus away. Make you confused, you know what I mean, about what you're supposed to be doing, I say. Definitely got the feeling of hatred that's here. Um, move that out the way. You know... Another tarot deck. We don't know how many we gonna get. You know what I'm saying? We just don't. We got um averaging this crystal that's just been kind of hanging out. It's like um luck, prosperity, fulfillment. And I feel like that's coming in for people or you and specifically we. I feel somebody that is getting ready to go through a blessed season. If you are not blessed already, then you are getting ready to experience a blessed season. Like you're on the precipice. Like it is right there, beloved. And maybe people can see it on you. They can feel it or something. Because again, and then others might be going through loss, a contraction or something that's happening in their life. If this is an ex of yours or somebody that's, you know, going through a breakup, be, you know, I feel like it might be their ex-wife or somebody that they are associated with or connected to that for some reason got a problem with you. Again, I'm telling y'all, we had this saga back a while back. I don't know how many months ago it was, but it was about Pissy Patty who had their eye on you, pissed off at you because they about to lose their whole dude. And I'm feeling that energy again today. Like Pissy Patty is pissed again. I, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I definitely feel the energy of hatred, envy, jealousy, malice, beloved. Let go. Somebody is either being let go or they need to let go of this energy. Let go of the hatred for the weed. Because I feel like you ain't got nothing to do with it, beloved. Like you doing your own thing. That's how I feel. See, come to a peaceful resolution. But somebody don't want that. I feel like that's what they need to be focused on, you know. And let's see what this is. See, what did I say? Somebody don't want that. No. They don't, they not peaceful. And for some reason, they are hyper-focused on you. Maybe because your potential is unlimited or um, you create your own reality. Like you create your own life. Like whatever you put your mind on, you focus on, you do that. I definitely feel like somebody's in separation. And behind that, we see the energy of codependency. We also see somebody... You know, pay attention to the red flag, sweet. You know, true love is also an energy behind the red flags. You know, but I feel like somebody is going through a separation. And 
I feel like this person either blames you or feel like you have something to do with it and it's just not true. Something is like not the right time, and but it will happen within the next few weeks. Maybe that's when you will find out about who this person is. Wait, if they are game stalking you, if they are watching you, you may get some sort of notification within the next few weeks. Maybe not right now. We, you may feel it, some sort of energy or, you know, I don't know. Something. It's a whole lot going on, I tell you that. See, peaceful resolution. That's what wanted to jump out of here. That if the word no is in here, remain positive and something, if you believe, and within the next few months is in reverse. So you may not even believe that this shit is happening, that this person or whatever this other person believes is not true. It's just not. So I hear the person that's watching you, like, it's going to happen within the next few weeks. Not the next few months. It's going to be sooner than months. Maybe in weeks. But whatever it is that they thinking about you, it's just not true. It's not. Maybe this person is going to, I hear, confront you, attempt to confront you. So some sort of communication. I definitely feel you needed to, if, you, if somebody is attempting to confront the weak, most of our guys said they need to reconsider. Remain positive. I hear positively sure that that ain't what you want to do, beloved. That ain't what you want to do. You don't, you don't want to confront the weak about it. You don't. I feel like you need to keep that shit in your family. You know what I mean? If you got a problem with your dude and you feeling like this person is leaving you... You might want to talk to them about that shit. Might, or go to the most high God. Meditation brings answers. That's what I'm feeling. Take it to the most high God. Don't take it to, don't take it to the weed, beloved. Because I see green again. Green with envy. Somebody is upset, beloved. Let's get into it. Thank you again to the most high God who gives us the warning. Put us up on game. We see you want this, not the cards. Put that back. Oh, Shay. Green with envy. Somebody's heart is afflicted, beloved. See, I definitely see a whole different language. This person speaks a whole different language. I don't know what the hell this is. Most high God, help us. I don't know. You could be you could be foreign. You could be somebody that speaks Spanish. Maybe your person is Spanish or they look Hispanic. But it's card 25, and I am going to flip to the other side because I don't read Spanish. So 25 is air, an air sign. So somebody in the sword family, king or queen of swords, page of swords, knight of swords, something like that. But it says, crisp, ethereal, and decisive. The energy of air fuels the winds of truth and whispers grand insights. Clarity and truth are supported by rationality, reason, common sense, and logic. Air energy breaks stalemates. Breaking a stalemate and stagnation through wise decision making. Somebody definitely done made a decision. They done made a choice. It says, um, bring the quality of air to a situation by seeing things clearly and objectively as possible. Yeah, meditation brings answers. That's what they said. Focus on facts and not the stories we like to attach to the facts. Truth, calm communication, comprehending the points of views of others, and promoting understanding of all sides. Yeah, so I'm definitely picking up an air sign. I'm definitely picking up the the energy of truth and clarity, like cutting through the bullshit, beloved. 
clearing whatever that may be fueling this hatred. And maybe that's why a person wants to come and confront you and talk to you. I definitely feel like somebody that speaks a whole different language of you, than you. If they are not like a different nationality or a different ethnicity, then they are somebody where you guys don't communicate on the same wavelength that you don't. Your language is completely different. It's like how y'all... Don't take this the wrong way, but y'all, the weed, y'all know what I mean. I just heard ghetto to collegiate, like somebody. I'm hearing that don't put together a coherent sentence versus somebody that takes their time and speaks with intention is what I'm feeling like two totally different realms of communication anything else in here mercury mercury is associated with the roman god Mercury, the messenger of the gods and the intermediary between humans and the gods. Mercury is all about the mind, specifically in intelligence and communication. What, what did the Most High God just say? Most High God just said that you communicate way different than this other person, like two different types of communication. Mercury, right here. I can't make it up. Like, you have a very high form of communication, and this person very communicates, like, a very high vibrational communication versus a very low vibrational communication. And I feel like that's why the conversation wouldn't be good. I feel like this person would not express themselves in a way where it's like, I want to get to the bottom of this. I want to hash things out. I want a peaceful resolution. No, it's not going to go like that. We They're going to say something... And I feel like it's going to go off the rails. Like, you're going to be like, the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> like, type like shit. And like, hold on, don't get it twisted. That's, <laughs> that's just how I felt. Like, hold on, don't let these degrees and shit fool you. Like, <laughs> anywho, um, it says, the desire to share your ideas and be heard as well as the yearning for further education. What did I just say? Most High God said, as well as the yearning for further education, formal or informal, it's under Mercury's governance. So I feel like it's versus somebody that's like up here versus somebody who's... And I'm not... I... <laughs> I thank you, Spirit. I'm like, I'm not saying that that's what Spirit say. Spirit say, in terms of um, valuing wisdom and intelligence, you are a person that places a high focus on intelligence, communication, and and and, and higher learning. Where this person that's just not in a they wheelhouse. They, they they really don't value that. They don't care about that. That's not what they do. You know, and I mean that's just not what they do. Anyhow, anything else out here? No. Okay. So this person comes to you with some words, y'all might end up having some words. I'm just saying. Because this person is going through a separation, 1837. Yeah, somebody, but they, they done got separated. That's past. And they hyper-focused on you right now, beloved. And they might want to come in in the near future and say something, have some words with you, confront you about this separation. Because they definitely codependent on a person. Pay attention to these red flags, beloved. Mm. See, honeymoon. The honeymoon is over. Maybe they think, you know, something about a, a honeymoon period, but the honeymoon is over, beloved. It's done. It's, it's, it's over with, you know. Anything else in here, beloved? Most high guys say no. Yeah, stay optimistic about your love life, though. True love is coming in. And maybe... Somebody is optimistic about you. Maybe they think that you're their true love and they want to come back and try to reconcile with you. Or maybe that's just the story that this person is making up in their head because that was the message, like, to deal with the truth and not the stories that we tell ourselves about the truth, right? So somebody may actually be telling themselves a story 
that's just like I said, it's not true. They looking at you in a in a sense, and it's like how they are looking at you is just not true, beloved. It's just not. You know, they coming up with this whole narrative that their person then left them for you, and it's just not true. They left them for them because of the problems at the now. We can't say that because we really don't know all about that. We didn't dig into all of that because it could be some twins of truth or something, some sort of sentiment that this person might still have a thing in their heart for you. That's true. But that don't mean that they know what you're going to do. They don't. But they feel like it's a potential, like the potential for it to happen is unlimited. They do. Yeah. Nurture and follow my joy. Today I will write down 10 things that I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. Get focused. I feel like the most high God is telling them to redirect themselves. To get into what gives them joy so that they can clear this hatred. You know what I'm saying? So that they can focus on the things that makes them happy. To follow their own pathway. Because if their relationship is over, they can't make this person stay with them. And we see codependency. Now, this is your person's past person. This is your person's recent ex. Like, very recent ex. And I feel like... And you don't want this next. This one. Yeah, the most High God is trying to put you up on game because I feel like, you know, somebody watching you. Like, this person got a vendetta against you. Definitely, I'm feeling that petty patty energy. Like, somebody pissy, pissy ass patty is watching you again, thinking that you're the person that's done made their wish fulfillment in. You know what I mean? Definitely, feel, see, lovers. You know, somebody may have moved away from them and now somebody else is feeling in strong regret and remorse. You know, maybe they feel like they're going off to have their wishes fulfilled and they're going off to have them fulfilled with you and they're telling themselves all these crazy ass stories about you and them and now they watching you. They might have their other friends watching them and they sitting up here talking. Or You know how people get together and they want to conversate about you with they other people, friends and family and shit. Now they got a whole fucking gang of people stalking you on social media. You know what I mean? It's just being weird. What did I say? Family. A whole gang of people. Maybe they feel like y'all gonna get together. But whatever they thinking out, thinking it's not working like that. It's not going like that. But they just fucking working themselves and thinking themselves into a whole damn tizzy. It's not really what it is. It's not giving. You know, they giving their own self a damn headache with this bullshit. Thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and ruminating. Like, that's the energy that they put now, so that's the energy that they getting back. And I feel like their thoughts and narratives is just reinforcing what they feel, which is chaos and conflict. Yeah, what did I say? Chaos and conflict. That's the energy of that shit. Protect yourself. Somebody is in like a secret competition with you and you don't even know it. But I feel like, yeah, see, look. What, who the fuck is behind this? This damn King of Swords, an air sign. And this person could have started the drama. Yep, this person started some drama. Yeah, Six of Wands. Maybe this person, I don't know how this, these people recognize you or how they found you. Somehow, in a way, you're recognizable. Maybe you won't, you know, they know your socials and they watch you. You know what I mean? They keep up with what you're going. Mm, maybe the King of Swords watches you. You know what I mean? They been fuck around and seen you and they phone or some shit. And now they watch you too. <laughs> what the fuck is this? See, <laughs> heartbreak, you know, they done seen you in they damn store, phone and shit, and now they watching you too, right? Because they feel like this person still got feelings for you, and they just don't show it behind the moon. But I feel like what we say, they need to go in the spirit. Meditation brings answers. The hermit is in reverse, beloved, because they think that you and this person going to get back together. Two of cups. 
follow check out the red flags this person is codependent on this relationship it's something weird with it and see look queen of wands and the six of wands somebody is i feel you know not only attractive and confident but it's something that you do that makes you recognizable. It's something about you that's recognizable. Something that people, you know, I don't know if it's like celebrate, but it's like something that you appear to be victorious. You feel appear to be set up or poised or, you know, just abundant or successful. It's something about you that feels like people look at you in a successful type of way. Definitely with this Ace of Cups, somebody still either has a lot of love for you or this person thinks that their person wants to come back towards you to have their wish fulfilled and this love, like this love that you guys had may have been ultimate wish fulfillment for them and maybe they want to try and start again. This is what this person is thinking with this Ace of Cups. And it's giving them heartbreak and bringing a tower or crumbling to their life. And I feel like they are watching you like hyper-focused on you, but you don't know it. You know what I mean? You see like how this person got this telescope and this, you know, they watching. I'm getting goddess of the moon energy. Like you giving queen of wands like goddessy energy. And it's a queen of wands sitting right here We. Yeah, somebody definitely want to hold on to something. You know, they could be trying to hold on to money where somebody is, you know, having a scarcity mindset where you may appear to be abundant, you know. Or this person may just be trying to hold on to your past person or their, their past person now, like, because of money. Like, of some sort of financial support. I feel. See, they may not have money because it's a King of Pentacles right here. King of Pentacles to a Queen of Wands. Look, we're Queen of Wands is right back here and associated with the Nine of Cups. And guess what? After that, it's a Page of Swords. Somebody watching. And what's after that? Fucking Five of Wands. That's conflict. Five of Wands. We see Three of Pentacles. That is more than one person that's in this but you know nine of cups yeah, I mean somebody think that they person coming towards you to have their wishes fulfilled like the ultimate relationship wish fulfillment money legacy wealth all of it anything I'm saying King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. This person, like I said, has money in some sense. And we saw the Queen of Pentacles come up. See, he may have turned King of Swords. Maybe it was his communication. It could have been harsh, a decision that he made. It could be a sign. It could be an air sign because we saw an air sign in the other deck that we read already. But I feel like you know, this person, do you want this? This person may be providing financial security for this other person. See, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like that's you, we, that you are somebody that's self-sufficient on your own, right? And I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is associated with this King of Pentacles because that's wifey. And I feel like... and for to also be a father you know to also have children he could be the authority the leader of course right not of course but you know what i'm feeling somebody that could be have either taking control or they are controlling 
I, I do feel father though. I feel like they have children. I feel like there's kids involved. I feel like this person um, has an, a controlling, authoritative type of my way is the highway type of energy. And he turned cutthroat in terms of his communication. And look who right behind. Look, King of Pentacles. Somebody who may have pulled back their energy from the Hierophant, this relationship. You know, some sort of connection. And somebody's in regret. We see the Ace of Cups behind there. You know, it could be what they consider love or ultimate love or starting over in some sort of, you know, love situation. Like where they want to place their love, you know. And somebody or somebody thinks that they want to offer that cup to somebody else and it's giving them a sense of heartache. Yeah, ace. They want to have a new opportunity with somebody else. They think that they want to have a brand new opportunity, a brand new opportunity in love. And not only just love, but union that's going to be fruitful with this Ten of Pentacles with somebody else. And it's causing them heartache. And they are, see, lovers. They think that they want to have that starting over new with somebody else. Work on a whole nother situation. The hang, uh, Eight of Pentacles. But it's not working the way that they think that it is. Because it's just their thoughts in their head. Five of Wands. Five, look, that's three. This person is seriously thinking, you know, that it's some serious competition out here. Like... And I almost feel like they in competition with themselves because they're not in competition or they're in competition with the thought of you. And it's not even you. It's like they own self, they own thoughts. Just because you probably look good, confident, and nine of coins type of person. Like you look good, you attractive, and all of that good stuff. And you appear to be successful and victorious and like, you know, just set up and poised for success. And people recognize you in some sort of way. Or that's how they see you, you know. That's how people talk about you. Maybe that's how this person talks about you. You know, I feel like this person, this emperor, is somehow fantasy. Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Like this person, their, your, your ex who was recently married or is married and getting divorced from their wife, their person, their spouse. Take it whichever way it resonates. This person is hyper fixated on you. And I feel like your ex-person fan the flames of this. Like, they got it started. It was something about their conversation or what they were doing that put planted these seeds in their head. And somehow or another, this person has your social media. And they got their eye on you in some kind of way. Both of them. Yeah. See, they upset because this person is walking away. These people are separated for sure. Because they turned into King of Pentacles, turned into King of Swords, and gave some harsh communication. And now they person may want to come and holler at you, but Spirit said they might want to consider that and just go into some meditation. <laughs> Because that conversation is not going to go well. We It is not. Seven of Pentacles. See, maybe they have a lot of investment, a lot of assets, some strong ties when it comes to this relationship. Or maybe they feel like you and this person um, have some sort of soul tie or spiritual connection that makes your potential to get back together and reconcile unlimited. Like, they feel like if they could, this person would choose you over and over and over again. But maybe this person can't choose you. It's something about why this person cannot be with you. Even though they feel like you are their wish fulfillment. Like, you are the ultimate love. Like, they would choose you in a heartbeat, beloved. See? Ten of Swords. Yeah. Three of Wands. See, they... 
they would patiently wait and betray another person. It's something about something that was a harsh betrayal, something that they did that's going to have this person either always waiting for an opportunity or these ships are not going to come in or they just have some sort of vision of you. Maybe they were watching you. You know, like I said, again, keeping their eye on you or waiting for an opportunity, waiting for that opportunity to come in, for their vision to be fulfilled. Whatever their true heart's desire is. And maybe their person learned about it or maybe they said it too. Ooh, they might have said it to them. Now, see, that's kind of fucked up. That definitely will fan the flames. If a person told you married to somebody and they tell you that they've been in love with somebody else and I would go back to them in a heartbeat if I could, beloved, that would fuck you up. Like I said, somebody been watching you. You learn that type of truth. I can hear who the fuck is it. Like, what? Because they mouth just so slick that they just came out with it like that. Six of pink, that's true. They would have give to this other person. Now, I mean, like, shh, look, that's a lot, spirit. Both of them. Spirit say they told them the truth. They still in love. With you, and you have to be the past person because spirit wrote it in the past backwards. Temperance, ooh, what is that? To the page of wands, like I said, communication. This person wants to come in and communicate with you. One foot in the water, they feel like you are earth angel. Like you are the perfect match or something like that. And they would tell you that. Or that's what they told that other person. Like, that's my soul person. We are so connected, which is why they feel like y'all potential to get back together is unlimited. They done told this person that you are they soul contract person. Wow. Anything else in here? Spirit say no. That you are they wish fulfillment, though. Wow, we. Let's see what we can get in terms of synchronicity. This person, your person's ex is anxious, nervous. Um, we see, you know, moon magic. They can even be sending you magic, like I said, casting spells. I see more than one person here, gang stalking, you know, working together with other people. That's that seven of swords, lies and deceit. You know, I definitely feel page of swords or somebody watching you. They feel betrayed by this person. They do. They feel betrayed by the person. That they person is still so invested in you. Wow. King of Cups energy. That this person really, really loves you. Like, secretly. Like, they've been holding it secret for a while. And I'm not for sure what was the opportunity with this Ace of uh, somebody single. I'm hearing you became single. Like maybe this person got married because you were married or you were in a relationship. So they were in a relationship because they feel like they just can have you. And now maybe that you're single, they see this opportunity to start love anew. And it's, you know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody that's, you know, is going, I feel like walk towards you. You know, somebody that has secretly been loyal to you this whole time. There's some weird kind of loyalty. Like, you loyal to me even though you married to somebody else. We Like, we married, I married, you married, and you still loyal to me even though, you know, you married to somebody else, though. And now that you are single, this person is taking the opportunity to go after what they really want. We That's what they person think, you know what I mean? Even if it's not true, because that is not true, but this is what this person thinks. This is what their person thinks. See? 
receive healing and judgment release. I feel like healing isn't a challenge, like mentally, like this person needs to heal. They need to let go of these thoughts. They need to release these thoughts because they feeling, I feel like they making themselves sick with this. Yeah, they making themselves sick with these thoughts. They real out of balance. Look, they making themselves sick. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups energy. You could either be a water sign or you could just be a very loving person. They could be a Queen of Cups energy. I'm not for sure. But I feel like they are making it up in their head about who you are to this person. Like attractive and loving. Like they, Or maybe this is what they person told them you were. And is making them anxious is giving them like sleep see queen of wands see they probably see you as that this is how they see you change like it could be karma for something or it's just time out for it or in time coming soon you're gonna hear from this person like they're planning to come and talk to you i don't know but definitely we see, look, Queen of Cups energy. Somebody may actually be working on something. Because we see the Eight of Pentacles and we see the defense, like standing your ground or protecting yourself or, you know, this battle in the spirit. Maybe they feel like how they feel and they just don't stand on it. Yep, my ear ringing. They feel how they feel and they gonna stand on it. That's why if they come and talk to you, it's not gonna be good with love because you're not even gonna be able to convince this person that it ain't like that. Strong. They feel like that and they feel it strongly. Like you're not gonna be, that's true. That's true. They're, you're not going to be able to have good communication with this person. It's going to go all the way fucking bad because you're not going to be able to tell them that what they think in their head is not true. See, to them, you could be having a whole affair with a person and they believe it and don't have not a fuck lick of damn proof, like zero. The only proof that they have is probably the fact that they person might watch you on social media. That's probably about it. And that's all that, or whatever the person, fuck this person has said to them. Like, oh, this is my person and we got a soul contract or some shit. And now they, what did I say? We invested in the spirit. You know what I mean? Like we tied in, we rooted in and we finna, you know, I'm about to go shoot my shot or some shit. But they may not have even said that. I don't know. Look, illusions illusions I hear bullshit king of cups they feel like you guys are a match look king of cups back look y'all look I can't make this shit up didn't we see this it's right here ten of pentacles they feel like they person is literally walking away to come towards you and y'all gonna have a whole happy, wealthy family, I say. And it is. That's they worry. That's they fear. And they running away with the shit. They are. Like, you can't tell them that this shit is not fucking happening. You cannot tell them that it's not happening. Spirit so say, put that toxicity on the table because that's this person's fear. That's they worry. And you can't tell them that it's not happening. Three of Cups. They might, look, truth. They might feel like, you know, that's what's happening and they got other people watching you. You know, we see the strength again here. We see the King of Swords. Look, crack it open and that's exactly what this is. This person has some strong ass words to their person when they left and when they separated and they had this conversation. Oh, beloved page of swords, whatever it is, I mean, either they was watching you or not the other person watching you too. Yeah, two of spheres. And somebody is definitely off balance. Juggling some shit. Juggling a mentality. Four of cups. Look. Four of cups to the five of swords. They feel like this person is betraying them like they own some, you know, or they might be on some win at any cost type of shit trying to sneak you 
That's why if they want to confront you, spirits say they should re reconsider that. Don't don't do it because they not in for a peaceful resolution. They not they 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 need to heal and meditate like the star said, like that said, heal. Go pour into they self, you know. Go nurture they self, like the mindful message said. Go pour back into them and they can heal because they telling they self a bunch of shit that's just not true. Pissy ass Patty done lost her damn man, beloved. That's fucking true. Pissy Patty done lost her goddamn man. She focused on you thinking that you try, look, try King of Cups. That this person is in love with you. That you guys are in love with each other. Like this is a match. Like between love, nine of cups, wish fulfillment, and coin. That this person wants to be with you. That you guys are so contracted to be together. Look, this is the hermit. They need to go inside. Like that could be what they telling themselves on the inside. But I feel like, you know, um... I don't know. I feel like they spirit is off though. Like it's some I don't know. Is it off? Yeah, it's something that's going on. They have a hateful spirit, a hatred. A, a, they spirit like they heart is broke. The spirit is trying to work with me to get it out right what I'm feeling. They heart is broke. And because they heart is broke, I'm feeling green with envy. And that's the space that they are moving from. Like, they have linked it to some sort of low vibration. Like, they don't almost, they can't compete with you because we are unique. We are different. We're all our own person. But this person feel like they can't compete with you on no level, beloved. Like, not your beauty, not your intelligence, not your coin, not, not nothing. And now that this, they done found out that they person is leaving them, and they done said some shit to them like, this is my person, my beloved, and I'm about to go after it because they single, and I'm about to take shoot my shit. Damn. <laughs> I'm sure it's more to it anyway, but it still got to look. They moving on. They moving forward. This relationship could have been filled with drama and all kind of ish. The lovers cracked on it again, beloved. Somebody is choosing to move forward. Ten of wands moving away from this problem. I'm telling you, this relationship, I feel like, was full of fucking problems and drama and chaos. Set five. Look, that's that five of swords again. Like, I feel like Patty S is pissed and the bitch done lost her shit. Like, for real. Like, she done lost it. But I still feel like, you know, she might come and say something to you or somebody might come and say something to you and try to approach you. But if they do, they, they that, that spirit say they need to reconsider. I feel I, I feel like it ain't gonna go well, but love it, it is not gonna be good. It is not. Look, five of swords. It is not gonna go good. I feel like this person is look, six of cuts, trying to hold on to this shit at any motherfucking cost. Page of cuts. Like, even though it ain't really no love there, or this person wanna come and apologize to you, or some shit, they wanna, I mean, I don't know, they three of spheres. It's a couple people in this. Page of Cups to the Three of Spheres. We definitely see the Ten of Swords. We definitely see somebody feeling betrayed. Spirit, what's this Page of Cups? Page of Wands. Yeah, somebody want to have conversation. They want to apologize. They want reconciliation. They do. That's what they think. You know, her and her crew. Them and they crew. Him and his crew. Whoever. Take it whichever way it resonates, beloved. I'm just saying. If somebody and they crew think, look how this person got, look at this fire coming out of their heart. They feel like this person feel it coming and, and reconcile with you. Nana Cups to get to their wished fulfillment. I can't make it up. How many Nana Cups is that? That's at least three. Like, they pull back their energy from this Queen of Spheres, this Queen of Pentacles energy, so that they can go towards you. And that's her fucking thoughts with this devil toxicity. This person really think that. See? Magician, manipulation, and temperance. Ace of Cups. 
definitely see Knight of Swords, Five of Wands in reverse. This person cannot fucking possibly compete with you or they think that they can't compete with you. They, they it's, it's all mental. All of this shit is mental. It's like nothing that's really happening in the physical except for them motherfucking peeping and watching you. And whatever this person that told to they person about why they separating, but either way, it still ain't got shit to do with you. We, where is your energy? Queen of Wands, doing your own thing, being lovely and, you know, confident. What it say? Queen of Wands energy to the Nine of Cups. Again, I can't make this shit up. And they watching you to the Page of Swords. They, Three of Pentacles, which we see over here. Three of Pentacles is right up under here. Queen of Wands. Courage. Confident. Independent. Focused. A zest for life. Determination and joy. The Queen of Wands is creative, and she calls you to nurture the creativity within you. This card may also call you to nurture other people's passions, such as being a teacher or a mentor. Inspire others through you, through your example. Be a leader. Be confident in yourself. See, the Queen of Wands is a caring energy that nurtures others, but when an overdrive can become domineering, hist histrionic, and controlling. I don't feel like you're hist controlling, but you could be histrionic because I definitely feel somebody that was intelligent. It's something about the way that you speak. I feel like high, high education, like degrees. Energy. 24, Earth, Gaia, energy, coherence. We see the frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind. This person needs to come into coherence and healing to, you know, get their heart and their mind together. Because I feel like their heart is all over the place. That's what I was feeling. Like, they, their heart is all over the place. And it's affecting their thoughts. And their spirit is disturbed. And I feel like it's very low vibrational. Again, hatred. Clear it. Compassion. Maybe you should have compassion for this person, you know, because they going through it. You ain't got shit to do with it, weed. I can't tell you how to feel, beloved. But I'm just saying that, like, if your person, you married to somebody, and they ex is all of a sudden available and single, then they come to you and tell you, oh, I got to go. First of all, this shit has been drama field or whatever the case may be, whatever our problems and shit may have been. But I'm about to go. And be with them because that's my wish fulfillment. We so contracted to be together. And this is the opportunity and I'm going to take it. If you a codependent person relying on a coin for your family to make it. Oh, you might feel a whole kind of way. You might just lose your shit. I'm just saying. I, I can understand how they got there, beloved. Nah. Don't get it twisted. Bring your fuck ass over here doing some bullshit. You're going to fuck around and find out, beloved. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Patty has to piss and she done lost her shit. I'm saying. You have some compassion for that bitch. Give it out. Just saying. The frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment. Without judgment. And be the divine mediator between heaven and earth. And we saw that, you know, interceding type of energy earlier. And we saw earth be a mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter. So that unconditional love can flow from the source through the heart and into the world. Anything else through the heart and into the world. That's the lesson for you, we remembrance. Remember who you are. Remember not to leave your throne for no one, beloved. Just don't. Even if this person comes towards you and want to have a conversation because they couldn't meditate, they didn't want to heal, they didn't want to reconsider. Keep your poise, beloved. You know, maybe remember, you know, stay focused on your own coin, you know, because that does it for me. I'm just saying, planner. 
Somebody could be playing it, like I said, two of wands. This person might be really playing to come and talk to you. Maybe you, you know what I'm saying? They they got a whole thing about the plans that's being planned out. And they feel like this person, they ex-person that just that left them on some harsh shit is planning to come towards you, beloved. Yeah, they feel like y'all got a whole damn plan. Like y'all moving forward to go get to Ten of Pentacles. See, easy does it, you know. Be cautious. You know, you don't want somebody, a confrontation with somebody else to fuck up your money. Beware, you know. This person thinks that the person has some specific... Beware of their goal. What are they trying to accomplish? You know what I mean? Because, see, if you are a person that's focused on your brain, on your money... You know, celebrate. I feel like they could be trying to celebrate your downfall. You know what I mean? They might be trying to set you up or something to fuck your money up. Peacemaker. Lean into peace. You've accomplished so much and you will accomplish much more. Lean into peace. You are being called to apply diplomacy intact in a difficult situation so somebody may come to you for a conversation and if they do see planning if somebody comes to you maybe it's that's just the way it needs to go you know they're planning it they're trying to design it out trust you know, maybe they are trying to sew together some something, something so that you can make a mistake and it could fuck up your money, Asha. Because they, they see you as somebody that's victorious. Somebody where this person may feel like they're, where they feel like their person is going to come and you guys are going to have a lot of assets. Like it's going to be a ten of pentacles situation. And if they could mess you up, get you fired they could show up at your job they could you know do something that's going to try to mess up your coin i definitely feel that with that money burning that they trying to mess up your money here's an angry it's here denial yeah somebody is they they definitely in denial they not gonna Ask for help is here to, um, this person is unreliable, you know, like they may, again, offer to come and speak to you, but what they have planned is to fuck your money up, like to do something to you. Perhaps you are insisting that rea reality be something other than what it is. That's what this person is doing. This person is in serious denial, yo. They think it's about you when it, it is, but it ain't. Like It's like they person may have said something to them to, to fan the flames of this like obsession. You know, the rebel. I feel like they're going to go out of their way to stand up for this mindset. You know... Crafter. Yeah. I feel like they putting together something. You know, it's something about you too, you know, that makes you different. I feel like Queen of Wands energy, you know. It could be something that you also do, like I said, that you don't want to fuck up. You don't. The past. You not you don't want to fuck up your future over the past because somebody else got a fucking crazy ass obsession with you and that's what it is somebody is gonna come towards you to mess up your whole situation because they have a crazy ass obsession with you even though they person may have feelings for you and may have said something to them about you. I still feel like you're on the outside of it. Like you're not enmeshed or entangled in any of it. Motivator and angelic help. See, you may be a speaker. You may do something. Whatever you do. Like this person could 
it's a skill that you possess that needs to be shared with the world. I mean, you could be a motivational speaker. Um, they may need to be, I mean, you may help people. There's something about what you do that's helpful. That's, um, I'm feeling like growing. That's taking off. That is, you know, your poise for success. People may start to recognize you in some sort of way. Um, yeah, you are into your life purpose, you know. And this is just, you know, people are starting to recognize you. See, you could have something to do with spirituality. Like I said, you could be, you know, you could need to tap into your spirit and ask for protection. You know, you could be... I mean, she's definitely a reader. You could be another reader. You know, you never know. She could be getting readings on you. Or again, you could be a reader. You could be, you are being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time. Like, I feel like you could just definitely be on your spiritual path. And you could be getting into your life purpose. And you need to have help to deal with this perfect person, this past energy that's coming towards you this person that's obsessed with you because their person has left them and they think that they are leaving them for you even if that's what that person has told them doesn't make it true because you have a choice beloved you do so you may not be like i'm not into any of this shit we haven't even talked i'm not a part of y'all whole fucking entanglement shit how do you feel about this person? Or what is the truth about your past person? Because they your past person for a reason. Let's get that raw truth-ish. What's the real, beloved? Because this person is on some crazy-ass fucking narrative. Like, they done made this whole shit up in their own damn mind. So, what's the real? What's the truth? We said that sore energies bring the truth. That's that ace of truth. The ace of sore truth. That clarity. Like the real raw truth about this whole fucking shit. What is it? Thank you to the most high God. This one. No one compares to you. Didn't I say this what this person told they that nobody compares to you. That you they wish fulfillment. Like we got a whole soul contract. And that's going to be my person. That is my person. And wow. Nobody compares to you. This air energy. The swords. That raw is truth. The raw true shit. Anything else? <laughs> Your bae. This is what they told this person, that you they bae. That's the truth. <laughs> somebody say, I don't deserve somebody like you. It says, complete financial help from the universe. I feel like this person, they, uh, your exes, now ex person, is financially reliant on them. Codependent. Maybe they didn't see the red flags in that relationship or something. We belong together. I'm here. I see green with envy. We belong together. This is what this person then told. This is what your ex that told they now ex. Because they done lost, they done left this karmic. Yes, they did. And now they karmic is watching you like. I know you had something to do with it. Mm -hmm. Being in love is foreign to me. Mm. Maybe that's how they felt in the past. Like maybe they didn't know what it was because something in the past, something, something happened for them to be your past person. You know, maybe your day ex or they car the karmic. See, I don't know which one is karmic, whether it's your ex was karmic and your karmic ex that married a karmic, yeah? And that's probably what the drama was in their relationship. And now you then became single for some reason. I don't know. Maybe you went through a karmic soul season too. And now you single again and they like, oh shit, now we get to be together or something. 
I really don't want anything monogamous. Maybe they didn't want anything monogamous back in the day. You know, maybe that was a part of the issue with you and them back when. They didn't want to be monogamous. This one and this one. Seven, 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 you're headed in the right direction. How can you fail if you don't try? Mm. Who's heading in the right direction? Who? The wheat is heading in the right direction. So don't go back to that shit. The love you showed me, I've never felt before. Never. So the love you showed this person, they never ever felt before. But the spirits say you heading in the right direction. You getting in your your life purpose. You are in touch with your spirit. Ask your spirit guides for help. We see angelic help and ask for help twice because this is a strong situation. Maybe help to deal with this past person that may approach you. They could. We, they really could. And their persons. Your person's ex-person. So, both of the karmics. Your ex, that's a karmic. And they ex, that's a karmic. Both of them could approach you. One that approach you to reconcile, possibly, maybe. We don't know. That's what they told they person. We And they person might approach you to figure out what the fuck did you do to break up their family. You might, bitch, I didn't do shit. Just go talk to your dude about that. You play games. I wrote the book. Mm. See? They playing games, but you wrote the book, beloved. Anything else in here? Spirit say no. Spirituality evolving. Can't make it up, yo. Spirituality evolving. Getting into your life purpose. Everything lining up. One, 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 one. Mm, that's the real. <laughs> I'm a fuck boy or a fuck girl and you deserve better. Maybe that's what it was back in the day. Like, they they knew. Again, because they knew they wasn't ready for anything monogamous or something happened because they ran off and got married to some karmic shit. That shit is weird. But you heading in the right direction. That's 777. That's what that is. Anything else, beloved? Spirit say no. That's it. Wow. So, 10651. Uh, on the timer when we said it that uh somebody got a karmic ex and a karmic ex now has a karmic ex and the karmic ex karmic ex is ex think that you are the new next they think that they uh person your ex is gonna come to you it'd be like, can we reconcile, boo? And they done made this shit up in their whole head, beloved. Like, yeah, they told me they still love you and they about to go for it because now you single and you back on the market or whatever the case may be and they finna take their shot. And now I want to come and talk to you about my broken family and how I'm going to meet my own financial needs. And you might have to hold your shit so that you don't fuck around and fuck up a bitch. I'm just saying because Patty has his fist and she might want to come and talk to you. But Spirit says she need to reconsider and go meditate. She ain't in the space to do no peaceful resolution. So the conversation is not going to be good. So it would not be beneficial to them or to you. So... Go talk to your dude, Joe. I ain't got shit to do with what y'all go through. And that's just it. No is a whole fuck sentence. But you can do what you want to do, beloved. I'm just saying <laughs> what the spirit told me to advise you to do. Because you off in the right direction. And you living in your purpose. And I feel like there's some good work that's lined up for you to do. And you don't want to fuck that up because these two is cuckoo. <laughs> I feel it for Cocoa Bus. <laughs> that, um, look, we through, y'all. We ain't going to talk about it no more, but love it. We just not. I love y'all. Thank you so much for sticking through the message. If you made it through to the end, hashtag 
go sit down with that shit. Go talk to your dude, beloved. I could say a whole bunch of shit, but seriously, I have compassion. Remember your throne and be graceful. So, we just gonna go with that. We love you. Just like we love the Alpha and Omega that made us, that called us to be the infinite intelligence, breathing, word, resurrecting this day. To the next now, y'all. This one's done. I say. Mm-hmm.